Guys, what's going on? It's Percy here from P4C and welcome back to the channel and today we are going straight back at it. Uh, opening up some skyscraping perfect as well as uh, Sky Blue Stream, the latest uh, Japanese set uh, which will be included uh, in the upcoming English set uh, Evolving Skies. Now we have indeed opened uh, four boxes, uh, two of each sets uh, in our channel. If you have missed those openings, make sure you go ahead and check them out. Uh, I will put the links in the description below. Between now and our last video, there has been some rumors uh, on the community that these two sets in fact do not uh, guarantee uh, SR or above uh, cards for each box. So today we are going to test it out and see if this is really the case. Now for those who didn't know, since uh, the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon uh, Japanese set, each of these boxes or each of the set that has been released uh, are guaranteed a uh, secret rare SR and or above card uh, in each box. However, uh, recently, uh, each time whenever a new set comes out, uh, the Pokemon company usually uh, tell us uh, it is uh, or whether or not there are guaranteed an SR card or not. Uh, something strange, weird, uh, unique has happened uh, within the last couple of sets, especially with EV Heroes. Uh, the Pokemon company uh, did not come out and said they were uh, guaranteed uh, SR cards in that particular set, whereas in the Ice Rider uh, uh, Color X and Shadow Rider Color X set, uh, they uh, came out and had a tweet uh, and said they were uh, guaranteed SR card. Now, in the latest tweet uh, for the S7 sets, uh, they did not mention anything about a guarantee SR, and within the community, we have actually seen. Uh, people not getting uh, any SR cards uh, from their boxes opening. Interestingly enough as well, we have seen people pulling two up to three secret rare cards within one box. So today we are going to see which end of the spectrum we are going to hit with the two boxes in front of me. One more thing before we go into our openings today. Uh, as I promised, we are going to give away two sets uh, of the promo cards uh, that comes with this particular set. If you want to find out how to win those cards, uh, make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video as we will reveal the steps that is required to do so. It is time uh, to see whether we hit the jackpot or not, so let's go into our openings for today. Alright, here they are. Here are the two boxes. As per usual, we are going to open the uh, the skyscaping, scraping, scaping, perfect. Um, first, I got to the point where I am almost given up on how to pronounce or uh, what's the right letter or what's the right word for this particular set because it is just a mouthful. Uh, but let's see what we can pull from this particular opening because uh, normally in my Japanese opening uh, at probably the third opening I would say to you guys that I would stop after I pulled the secret rare card but since we're kind of not guaranteed a secret rare card uh, well allegedly anyway and the fact that you could potentially get multiple hits uh, in this particular set as well so we're gonna try to list through it and uh, see if we are going to get uh, some luck yes yeah, so our first hit here we've got a Galarian Montrose here I actually, I, I know this is going to be a little bit controversial here, but I actually like this art better than the uh, the art that was in the last set. Um, especially, um, I didn't know it wasn't actually, I mean, what can I say? Um, I wasn't actually the biggest fan of the alternate art um, for the Galarian Moltres as well, to, to tell you the truth. So, uh, but I, I really appreciate this one, uh, the hollow there and uh, as I mentioned uh, quite often I really do think the um, the you know some of the common arts and the uncommon arts have really uh, upped their game so to speak so we've got an Articuno here I might actually put this card the uh, slacking there as well we just keep it in pile of all the hollow rare that we pull uh, all right uh, so far we opened a couple of packs and we might have something here. We might have a VMAX. We might have, uh, we might have an alternate art. We do have a VMAX. We have a Drelodon VMAX here. Uh, now this card seems to be quite good 
uh, to use. I haven't really gone through and studied the translation as yet, but um, it might not be, uh, you know, people, a lot of people are sleeping on this particular set, I think, um, in terms of uh, the card value, uh, because uh, with the Rayquaza box, there's obviously a lot more chase card in the cards. Uh, I mean, the, the, the Rayquaza VMAX and the V uh, Alternate Art is, uh, is pretty expensive on the secondary market at the moment. I, I don't want to say exactly how much they are, but I think the V, the alternate V, is uh, north of north of $300, uh, and we've got a V here, and the uh, the V Max is uh, north of $500, so it's pretty crazy. Uh, but I think in terms of uh, come in from a competitive standpoint, I actually do think this set is not bad um, from what I've seen so far, and nothing here uh, because there is a. Um, I think the clay doll is it a clay doll um, clay doll card which um, I mean at, at first glance it seems like pretty good I haven't actually had a chance to put it to use yet but the second attack point uh, is uh, you can reduce um, your opponent HP down to 60 now if I'm not mistaken uh, I hope I'm right uh, but that seems like a pretty Good move considering um, it is just a Claydol, and then when you get destroyed, and only you only lose one prize card, and we get a Gabriel V here. So the, I mean, the only thing is that it's not a uh, it's not a um, single strike or rapid strike card, so uh, it might be harder to summon there. So uh, the reason why I actually said the Drelodon might be good as well, and and I think I think the um, the Flaffy might be able to. Is it the Flaffy might be able to charge the Drelodon? I, I can't re exactly remember. I might be wrong. So, uh, and I need to study it a little bit more. So, we get a Toad out here, and then another uh, Hollow Rare Dialga here. All right. Um, so, uh, we are, well, I don't think we're half rare yet, but uh, seems like we are definitely getting more sort of uh, good hits. Uh, from our uh, from our skyscraping uh, perfect box uh, because uh, we are I mean again supposedly you get half half uh, in terms of hits you get half hollow and above and then half of the other ones are um, just normal and uh, just the commons and commons but it seems like we've got quite a lot of shiny cards uh, in front of us already, and I think we have something here as well. I've just glanced through it. We've got a sweet coon uh, V card here as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, this set, uh, I think some people have asked whether uh, when is this set coming out for English. So this set is in fact the Evolving Skies. We've got the Gulak V here, uh, which I kind of, uh, I think, anticipating this to be going pretty crazy. Uh, um, only because um, Evolving Skies uh, includes, uh, obviously, include uh, EV heroes, and we are, ooh, we've got something here. Uh, we do have something here, so, alright, let's see what this is. Uh, hopefully, this is uh, alternate art. We haven't, ooh, well, we've got a copycat rainbow rare here. Here we go. Let's sleeve this up. All right, so we pull a uh, copycat Rainbow Rare. I would have much preferred to pull this card in a uh, full color, but Rainbow Rare, you can't complain uh, as we, uh, I mean, we hit the SR for, for this particular box, SR on above, and I actually think this card is really cute. Uh, I think this card is obviously underrated in terms of the art, but you know, you can see copycat, uh, copying Leon, copying Marnie, and copying uh, Chairman Rose, which is very, very cute. I think we're just gonna put it smack bang in the middle there. Very nice. Uh, we've got, I think, 15, around, no, less than 15 packs to go. And let's blitz through these and see uh, if we get um, an error box. Again, I've seen uh, people, and you guys would have seen from the opening, people getting three hits, uh, double hits, three hits uh, in within one box. So there must be some, I guess, printing allocation error uh, or sorting allocation error. Uh, in Japan to this 
for this to happen and it is actually quite rare as well um, from my understanding to get error boxes in Japan um, of course you know with the you know the ultra shiny the tag all stars and uh, recently shiny star V you get something called the god pack but I think it is quite rare uh, to get multiple SR hits in one box we get a Lycanroc V here Alright, uh, do we only just have one V Max card? Uh, I think normally you get around two, so we might have more to come. Uh, and then we've get yeah, we've finished off the uh, the legendary birds there as we pull the Galarian Zaptops, the fighting chicken of fighting bird, and here it is, our Lycanroc V Max. So we've got the uh, like not V and the V Max in this time around. Uh, I'm not sure if this is my first time pulling this card as well. So, all right. Uh, it's, I'm just trying. I'm, I'm trying to translate in my head a uh, little as we come along uh, in regards to the first attack for the V Max. It seems like uh, it seems like a good card to use. The like not V Max. Uh, so let's uh, let's go into it a, a little bit little more when I have a chance, and we're going into or coming into our last pack here. Uh, let's see, uh, we're gonna get some last pack magic here, and if we get an error box here, last card, and nothing here. All right, guys, the first step uh, in order for you to get a chance to win these promo cards uh, that were shown in the intro is to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then after you subscribe make sure you hit the bell for the latest videos and updates and make sure you hit the like button as well. Alright here we go going into our uh, sky blue stream here and we have yet to get the Rayquaza VMAX just the normal triple R card actually we have yet to pull that uh, from two of the boxes that we open and I kind of asked around um, and it does seems like just the, even the normal Rayquaza V Max is pretty hard to pull and pretty hard to get so let's hope that we at least get one here today and also get the uh, alternate art as well. We Oh yes, we've got the VMAX. I shouldn't be that excited, but we do have the Rayquaza uh, Rengeki uh, VMAX here. Rayquaza VMAX. Uh, very hard to pull, apparently. I've opened uh, three boxes of these, and uh, judging by my reaction, uh, it is indeed uh, not easy to pull uh, as we get an, uh, I think it's Celebrate uh, Holo Rare here, so we pull Finally, we pull one. So, can we get another one? Maybe uh, double the luck. Uh, maybe the alternate art. So, we're also, I guess, in play for getting multiple hits in uh, this box, or maybe touch wood, uh, no hits uh, in this particular box uh, as well. So, uh, this is the guy I was talking about. Um, so, yeah. So, oh, you was in this set, not the last set. I apologize. Uh, uh, but yeah, that card is um, the Claydol. I I really think it could uh, could be a force to be reckoned with um, in the community or uh, competitive. Sorry, in the competitive. Whoa! We've got it. We've got the alternate art here. We've got the Medicham alternate art here. Very very nice. <laughs> that came from a bit of a surprise actually. But let me just sleep this up. All right, here we go. Uh, is it myth? Uh, debunk uh, because both of our boxes we pull a SR on above and we pulled an alternate art here. Uh, I think for memory uh, this card is around $35 to $40 uh, online on the secondary market on J in Japan. Uh, the centering seems like a little bit off left to right anyway but the alternate art is really cool because you got Magic Champ there um, right in front but you also have all these little other Pokemons in the back. Uh, you've got the Cloyster, you've got a uh, Poppin I think, uh, you've got a uh, Minion. I'm just trying to figure out where Plusler is, it should be around here somewhere. Uh, there it is, uh, and we got a jump up, and you got a. I think that is a Santa Scotch. Um, so, very, very nice. We pull an alternate art. Let's keep going because that was only our maybe third, maybe fifth pack in. Uh, we pull the uh, uh, 
uh, we pull the sorry I'm losing words here we pull the uh, secret rare on about like I said we are in play we are definitely still in play we might get picked up an error box where we have uh, multiple hits here so who knows there might be a gold card coming uh, if this is uh, an error box we have no idea so let's continue on uh, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty... Oh, oh that just squishes everything there. I'm uh, overly excited uh, getting that uh, Medicam card. But uh, I'm actually looking forward to Evolving Skies and, and looking forward to going to these... Um, uh, Built and Battle. Built and Battle uh, tournaments uh, where you get one of these Built and Battle boxes. And uh, if you're playing draft, you need to go around the table and draft your team or... Uh, you just try to build your team out of the build and battle. Either way, it's pretty fun. Um, I, I, I'm a little bit more hooked on to those type of tournament rather than you know bring your own deck and and you know 60 cards and battle each other. I, you know, uh, do let me know in the comments below. But I actually think uh, you do need a little bit more brain cells and brain power, uh, whatever you call. It. Um, more strategy, so, so to speak, in terms of when you played a build and battle, uh, because you obviously at the start you don't know what cards it is, um, and you you know it's a bit of a luck of the draw as well uh, to try to build out your team and 40 cards and it's four prices. So I think that particular format is so much more fun and so much more exciting. Uh, you know, determining uh, what kind of um, cards you may potentially get and how you set your strategy and how you set your team around that uh maybe a babbling on here but yeah i'm really looking forward to to it pretty soon uh but the only problem is uh, is this going to be the case where it runs out um because again uh, ev illusions uh, are involved and and maybe uh, I don't know if there's any Eevees uh, for the um, that will have the Evolving Skies logo from the pre-release. I need to double check. If it does, well, I think well, those are going to be pretty hard to get. But if it doesn't, then I think we still have a chance. I I think Pokemon might have uh, learned their lesson not to put too popular uh, Pokemon cards in the uh, in the build and battle uh, promo uh, slot. Anyway, uh, seeing the uh, disasters that they have for the for the charas out there. All right, uh, we've got a Gyarados V here. All right, uh, I think around 15 packs to go. Um, honestly, uh, I don't really expect we're going to be able to get anything else. Uh, so this is just a process of opening up packs and see what other V or V Maxes cut that we are going to get. Uh, in fact, I'll be very surprised uh, we get double hits here, but uh, strangest things have happened. I actually, to be, to be honest, I think uh, going back to some of the videos that we had, I do think that we have had uh, some instances uh, where we, ourselves, our channel, have the luck of pulling uh, some... Uh, oh, we've got Trevor in here. Some uh, error boxes where it include uh, two... Uh, two was probably the best number that we had. I think three is really crazy. Uh, SR, SR and above. I think, you know, from memory, we had pulled gold and and uh, secret rare cards uh, in one box. So, all right, uh, coming down here, mm, we should still have one more V Max to come. One more V Max. Nope, nope, nope. We should have one more V Max, and I'm hoping that we get. An, I mean, being greedy here, uh, hoping we get a one more. Re Quasar V here, so let's see. No, we've got a jump off Rengeki here. All right, we're down to our last six packs. Last six packs to go. Um, I'm gonna call it. We uh, have no luck of trying to get that way. Quasar V or the V Max card, um, unfortunately, in our pool. Uh, here it is, here is the VMAX there. So we are likely, I don't think we're going to get more of these to open, to tell you the truth. Uh, unless the price uh, for these go down quite significantly, we might consider it. Um, but I don't think we are going to get more of these to open. Uh, it'll be actually, this. I think this set uh, will be a really true testament of, uh, of you know, the prices and how it performed. Rayquaza being... 
again, I don't know why every time I film, uh, Siri picked up on everything that I say. It just uh, it, it scares me. It scares me. Um, so, okay, coming back to the point. Um, well, Crazer is such a popular Pokemon, um, and we, I think, Pokemon obviously will uh, will be more expensive uh, than trainer cards, waifu cards. So, um, last set, the uh, the Shadow Rider, um, Jet Black Poldegis, po 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 oh, uh, anyway. Uh, the value of that particular box has really come down, uh, actually. So, but it's still forced. A lot of shops are forcing people to buy the pair, so you need to buy both uh, for around one hundred and ten dollars. Um, so, you'll be really interesting to see how this set will perform uh, over the course of the next one to two months, especially when Evolving Sky is coming up in August. All right, we've got a something here. Uh, and then we have a, oh, we got a, or the original Medicham V here, so, to end up our openings for today. Alright, as a quick review, we won't show you the V and the V Maxes and whatnot, because, uh, you guys should have seen it already, but we did pull a Rainbow Rare, uh, copycat, um, from the first box that we opened, uh, which is very cute. You get to see Copycat uh, cross-playing Leon, Marnie, and Chairman Rose. Uh, again, would have preferred this in a full color, but you can't argue and can't complain when you pull a Rainbow Rare. Uh, and then we pull a um, alternate art man jam here from our Sky Blue stream box, uh, which where we debunk the myth of no guarantee SR, again, um, only for ourselves and only for these two boxes in the moment. I'm sure there are people who might not have uh, guarantee SR boxes out there in the world. But very happy with our pools today. Uh, so let's go to the outro and tell you guys the second step on how to win the promo cards. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Guys, if you did, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. While you're at it, make sure you subscribe and then afterwards hit the bell for the latest videos and updates and you thought I forgot, but I didn't. But the second step uh, in order to uh, get in the draw, uh, get a chance to win uh, these promo cards, two sets of promo cards for this particular uh, two sets, uh, comment in the comment section down below which is your favorite dragon card uh, in these particular two sets your favorite dragon uh, pokemon card uh, in these particular two sets put it in the comment below and that is the last step that you need in order to get in the draw to win uh, one of uh, the two sets of promo cards that we're offering once again hope you enjoyed this particular video if you are opening up uh, either of these sets today may the god of pools be with you always